What up? It's your man, Chill Smith. We gonna get right into the video. Let go. What up, y'all? This your man, Chill Smith, and we are here to talk about rap vocal chain. Now, for years, I got away with just using a microphone and an audio interface. If that's all you have, guess what? That is your rap vocal chain. But if you're looking to really step up the quality of your recordings, you're gonna want two pieces of gear. You're gonna want an external microphone preamp and a compressor. Now, I'm gonna show you my rap vocal chain. I'm gonna start off with the audio interface. As you see here on the bottom, I have a Focusrite Scarlett 18i20. This gives me all the ins and outs I need for my specific rap vocal chain. Above my audio interface, I have a microphone preamp. This is the Warm Audio WA73 microphone preamp. This is a one channel preamp because that's all I need. I'm only using one channel. And on here, I have 48V phantom power because you want to record with a condenser microphone. That red knob is the preamp gain, which boosts the signal your microphone is picking up. That blue knob is the high pass filter. I have 50 Hertz rolled off because I record vocals and vocals don't really need that 50 Hertz. And the output knob is the amount of signal I have going into the compressor. Above my microphone preamp, I have a compressor. This is the DBX 160A compressor. It is a VCA style compressor. And as you see me talk, you can see I'm triggering compression. I also have another compressor on the other side of my desk. So on the other side of my desk, I have a Clark Technic 2A KT leveling amplifier. This is an optical tube compressor. Now I have this set up in Pro Tools as an insert, meaning it is not directly on my vocal chain. So I'm gonna move this on the other side here because I'm right-handed. So in Pro Tools, I have it as an insert. This is what I would have to do. I would have to go down to IO and then click it and that will trigger my outboard gear. Now, if you don't wanna buy outboard gear, which I understand, you can use a VST or a plugin. Here, I have Waves CLA-2A, which is a clone of the LA-2A. This Clark Technic is also a clone of the LA-2A, but substantially more affordable. But as I'm talking, you can, again, you can see I'm triggering the compressor. And this is an optical tube compressor. There's four major compression types. If you want a video of me, explaining the type of compressors, please leave a comment in the comment section and I will make a video on the types of compressors. If you're looking for a more aggressive compressor, you wanna look at a FET style compressor. This is modeled after the 1176. Again, this is another Waves plugin, Waves. If you wanna sponsor your boy, holla at me but like i said this is a fet style compressor that's more aggressive also if you want to learn how compression works what these knobs mean leave a comment in the comment section and i'll also make a video explaining that as well but to reiterate if you want to step up your vocal chain for rap vocals besides having a microphone and an audio interface you're going to want a microphone preamp and you're going to want a compressor. And just quick note for people listening, you're listening to my vocals through this microphone, the Rode Podcast Mic. I actually have a microphone behind this one. It is a condenser microphone. It is a Shure SM27 
I didn't feel like rerouting this microphone for the video. So I apologize. You're not actually hearing the compressed vocals. My apologies. But this has been your man Chill Smith talking about rap vocal chain. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section. I respond to every comment. I'm a small channel. So if you leave a comment, I'm absolutely going to respond. This has been your man, Chill Smith. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.